summa laikna amsalakum and they will not be like you so if you do not do the job allah will take you out and bring other people you know today the fastest growing religion in the world is islam in america in england we indians supposed to be born in muslim families can't do the job allah gets people born in non muslim families make them muslim and make them sit on your head they are doing a job alhamdulillah the organization in states and europe they are far better than us we are nothing compared to them a shame on us we haven't reached the media yet in the film industry muslim are on the top number 1 actors number 1 muslim film producers number 1 muslim music director number 1 muslim actress number 1 muslim are we using this technology for spreading islam it's a shame on us allah has given us the technique it's a shame on us you go to the bombay film industry number 1 are muslims if muslim withdraw the film industry go down how many film industry people are using the equipment and the technology to promote islam how many it's a shame on us alhamdulillah since the past couple of years we have even been successful in penetrating the satellite channels see today if you analyze on the television you have news media against islam against islam on the satellite against islam you have channels which are giving news which are biased and all the material you see majority of the things on the satellite are un-islamic majority we alhamdulillah have been successful in showing our programs on various international channels and alhamdulillah we have been able to show our program even on the atn asian television network you all might have heard of that asian television network it's the channel which mainly shows film songs hindi film songs mainly it's very popular channel now it has been discontinued for a couple of months because they want to revamp the whole thing and come in a bigger way so therefore discontinued we alhamdulillah show our programs on the atn asian television network thrice a week on monday wednesday and friday for half an hour from 6 to 6:30 and this atn reaches 68 countries in the world 68 countries in the world imagine alhamdulillah it's a desire that we should try and do maximum dawa what we can at least we are able to stop the wrong activity for half an hour the wrong things that are going on instead of that we are promoting islam therefore you see the cameras that are there they are basically cameras which can shoot on the satellite these are special cameras that only if you record on these better cam cameras can you have it broadcast on the air i am asking you how many muslim dawa organization have beta cam cameras how many do you know of any it's a shame on us muslim businessman oh they own studios costing billions of rupees own studios and own the best of equipment but how many muslim dawa organization do you have who have a beta cam setup you can count them on your fingertips throughout the world only when you shoot on these high equipment can you have it broadcast on the satellite if you shoot on normal vhs it cannot go on the satellite maximum it can go on the video cassette in your home that's the quality is bad and normally we have the islamic you know lectures being shot or oh, the camera is going on the ceiling camera is coming down out of focus is getting bad who would like to watch a video cassette which is not shot properly but when you see the film movie though multi camera job you can see all scenery and everything and a person enjoys the islamic lectures out of focus half time ceiling is being seen and you cannot see who the person is it's not clear when we present islam we should present it in the best way par excellence therefore muslims should do things that they should be the best in that work we see in the media that always they are presenting islam in the wrong way they presenting islam as terrorist see we have full time channels such as bbc cnn you know presenting their view presenting view of the western world the international channels the international channels they present their view and they are supposed to be neutral but they give a wrong picture many a times and they project they show some shots of what's taking place in afghanistan or somewhere here or in palestine and present islam in the bad light few time they do say oh the poor people are getting harassed and this and that but if you see on a whole 
on a whole, they are trying to create a neutral image, but actually they are undermining Islam. In Bosnia, you see, where we are being butchered, tortured, we are being harassed, they, they show it on the news, they have to show, otherwise they won't be called as neutral. But where little thing happens, any bomb blast takes place first, main suspect caught three Muslims in New York bomb blast. All Muslim, and the photograph will be, will be flashing on the news every half an hour, without proof. Then, after two months, they caught a wrong person, very small, you know, once they will show it. Oh, they caught a wrong person. But before damage is already done, the damage is done in the Muslim Ummah, showing continuously for weeks together, that Muslims have done this bomb blast, etc. Then when they know it was wrong, when the world comes to know it is wrong, they give a small issue, oh, it was a wrong person they caught. On the newspapers you find, ah, 50-year-old Arab married a 16-year-old girl. Headlines. Front page in Times of India will come at the bottom. On the third page. 50-year-old Arab marrying a 16-year-old girl. You have 50-year-old men in America raping 10-year-old girl. It doesn't come in the papers. Raping. It doesn't come. 50-year-old man raping. Not once, several times. You see the statistics. Raping girls which have not reached maturity. It doesn't come in the paper. Why? It's not news for them. Every day in America, 1,900 cases of rape take place. It is so common, it's not worth mentioning, you know. Every day, 1,900 cases of rape. Means every 1.3 minutes, one case of rape is taking place. I'm here since about 40 minutes. You know how many rapes have taken place? At least 30 in America by the time I'm giving this talk. 30 rapes have taken place. It doesn't come in the paper. See, media is in their hand. They can project the way they want. We have to control the media. We are the Khaira Ummah. It's our job to deliver the message of truth to the whole humanity. We aren't doing it. Wallah, we aren't doing it. It's a shame on us. We require that we should have full-time Islamic satellite channels. We don't have a single. We have channels owned by Muslim countries, various, but they are not Islamic Dawah channels. On those Muslim countries, you may see Damas, you may see Western movies, all sorts of things you see. What we want, Islamic Dawah channels. The Christians have it, the Jains have it, the Hindus have it, even the Qadianis have it. Do you know that Qadianis? MTV, Muslim TV, run by Qadianis, beam from London. Handful of the people, handful there. It's a shame on us. What are we doing? There are talks in the Muslim world, oh, inshallah, within one year the channel is going to be launched. I'm hearing since, since IRF was started, since seven years I'm hearing, the channel is going to come, the channel is going to come. Every time I travel, the channel is going to come. We have the petrodollars with us, but we don't have a single Islamic full-time Dawah channel. It's a shame on us. It doesn't cost a lot of money. See, the Muslims are so rich that there are thousands of individual Muslims who can own ten channels at a time. Easy. Only from the pocket money. It's not expensive for them. It's the pocket money. Chiller, chiller, change. They can have channels just by the change money. It's a shame on us. What are we doing? Allah has given us all the niyamat, the black gold. But what are we doing? Are we making an effort? So what we decided, we are very small. Our organization, IRF, is very small. Okay, till the time, if even our desire to start, Allah hasn't given us that funds. So we said at least we start in a small way and we started. And now our programs are being shown in America, in Bahrain, in Kuwait, in Gulf countries, in Malaysia, Alhamdulillah, on irregular basis, on regular basis, on the ATN, on the NEPC, on certain channels, Alhamdulillah. And inshallah, we are having talks with the ART. Inshallah, very soon it will be shown throughout the world on the ART, Arab radio television. And inshallah, Allah will see to it that even an Islamic Dawah channel will start, inshallah. Allah knows best who will he get the work done through. We have the computer media. We have computer, we have diskettes, we have CD-ROMs. Now internet has come, email has come. We have on the disk and on the computer today. It's so easy. Alhamdulillah, the Islamic Foundation has more than 200 different packages on the computer only on Islam. 200. We have the Quran, we have the Hadith, we have the Sharia, we have the Fiqh. You want to know that how many times is the name of Jesus Christ, peace be mentioned in the Quran? Press the button, you get the answer. 